Good evening. Many multiple sclerosis sufferers in Saskatchewan are disappointed after clinical trials for a so-called liberation treatment in the states have been cancelled. This comes after the Saskatchewan government had planned to put up $2.2 million to have 86 patients from the province take part. Now here in the border city, representatives from the MS Society say they don't know if anyone from the region was part of the study, but Johanna Green says she understands the frustration that comes with the news. We share the disappointment of uh, so many people living with MS in Saskatchewan and, and across the country who really have been looking at this clinical trial in particular as an opportunity to get some of those answers that we've all been really anxiously awaiting. But Green says there's still hope. The MS Society is funding a Canadian clinical trial involving 100 participants. We'll investigate um, through those people all having had the procedure done through a double-blinded protocol um, whether or not CCSVI uh, liberation treatment is in fact effective for people living with MS. The treatment removes blockages and veins and has been said to give relief to those suffering from MS. Now for more information on the Canadian clinical study you can go to mssociety.ca. Lightminster's by-election to find a new mayor is almost underway as the nomination deadline draws near. Now, City Hall officials tell Newcap News that current Deputy Mayor Rob Saunders, as well as previous councillor candidate Cheryl Ross, have submitted their applications as candidates. The spot on the Catholic School Board is still up for grabs as no candidate has come forward. City Clerk Beth Campbell says if no name is submitted by the deadline, another call for nomination will be held. Then we have to go to a second call for nominations, extends the timeline for us to get everything ready to go to the electors. So we're hoping that we will have at least one person nominated. The nominations are not official until the deadline of 4 p.m. tomorrow. Lloydminster will head to the polls on October 16th. Justin Hines is giving back. The musician has been making his way across North America playing shows and donating proceeds to local charities. Now last night he made a stop in Lloydminster. The Vehicle of Change tour was conceived out of wanting to do something different than the standard music tour. To see the good that's going on in the world rather than just kind of focusing on all the negative stuff that we're inundated with. It was just a real cool opportunity to show some love and in return. Um, you know, we've, we've been really blessed and fortunate on the strips. The Ontario singer chose to donate yesterday's ticket sales to the Lloydminster SPCA. Uh, my wife and I are big animal fans. We have a few of them at home and uh, we just really appreciate what they're doing and the efforts they're going to to, to, uh, to make a meaningful life and pairings with people and animals. We are so grateful for this help. It's been so great to be able to work with these guys and just nice to have another fundraiser. Justin has performed around the world, including at the Beijing Olympics, the Vancouver Olympics and the Pan Am Games in Mexico. But yesterday was his first time in the border what city. Town. What a great place to be. And uh, this is definitely rivaling one of the nicest settings probably on the tour so far. So Justin plays so in Yorkton said. tonight. In this week's pet project, Graham and Jenny introduce us to two dogs who have become best friends at the shelter, plus details on the new operating hours at the Lloydminster SPCA. These two girls are Autumn and Nevada. Autumn is a four-month-old Shepherd Cross and Nevada is a two-year-old Husky Shepherd Cross. Nevada is spayed, Autumn is not, but they're both up to date on vaccinations and they will be microchipped before leaving the shelter. Autumn and Nevada are a funny little pair. They didn't come into the SPCA together, but they were kenneled beside each other. Little Autumn here took a liking to Nevada and decided that she wanted to be with her. Now we have them kenneled together and they thoroughly enjoy each other's company. Nevada has become like a big sister to Autumn and Autumn has to do everything that Nevada does. These two girls are so sweet and they have so much fun. If you're interested in either Nevada or Autumn, come on down to the SPCA. The SPCA will now be open seven days a week to better serve Lloydminster and the surrounding region. We will be open at 11 a.m. daily for admissions and 12 p.m. for viewings and adoptions. On weekdays, we'll be open until 6 p.m. and on weekends until 5. And the shelter will also be open on all statutory holidays except for Christmas and New Year's. And in celebration of this, the SPCA will be holding a promotion all through the month of September for adoptions.
All spayed and neutered dogs will be 30% off and all spayed and neutered cats will be two for the price of one. To take advantage of this great promotion, come on down to the SPCA.